going to start on our mat. Grab your pillow, your big juicy pillow. I have a bolster, but any big pillow will work really. You're going to come to a seat with your knees together and your feet together. Starting from here and then slowly drop your feet towards the outside and sit in between your feet coming to Virasana Hero Pose. So if this is too much on the knees, you can bring your big pillow underneath your hips. If it's okay, you stay here and slowly walk the hands back and lay on your pillow. Again, if you need to sit on the pillow for your knees, then bring another pillow to put under your head so you're at more of a slant. Unless this is comfortable, you can also stay like this. The point here is to just really stretch the front of the thigh in the quadricep region, as well as bring the heart open, shoulders open, hands are falling towards the side. So we'll start in this posture for a couple minutes just to enter our practice. Breathing deeply in your reclined hero pose. We just really want to reverse the effects here in our hip region, from always being in the flex position, from sitting too much, the legs will always be more forward, the flex position, as if you're sitting in a chair. That's the flex position of the leg, where the knees are closer to the chest. So we really want to reverse that effect here by really pushing the hips forward, creating more space. <sighs> Entering the thigh region hip region, belly region. And you should feel no pain here. It should be really comfortable. So if you do adjust as needed, like I said, if you feel any strain in the lower back, add more pillows. The more pillows, the merry. They really want you to find your most comfortable variation of this posture. Let your shoulders melt down the sides of your pillow, really opening the chest up towards the sky. Take a couple more deep breaths here. Slowly staying on our pillow with our upper body, we'll release the right leg back down towards the ground. Foot comes back towards the ground and just feel the left side for a moment. Just focusing on that left thigh region. And slowly switch sides. Bringing that right foot back down, slowly with control, lifting up the left leg, foot on the ground, focusing on that right side. And then let's release both the legs towards the ground and slide our butts to the ground if it's not already on the ground, staying on the pillow. And we'll open our legs into a bound angle, butterfly pose, feet together, knees fall to the sides. In this reclined bound angle pose. Again, we like this variation, keeping the shoulders open and the heart open. If you 
need to place any more pillows under your knees if this is too deep of a hip opener for you, you can do that as well. Let's inhale the hands overhead, coming into a deep shoulder stretch for a moment. Just opening as far as you can so your hands touch the ground. And then take a couple deep breaths here with your hands overhead. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, bring them to the ground and slowly start to lift yourself up on your hands. We'll close the knees together and take a moment to just windshield wipe the knees, left and right. Sit up, let's move the cushion. And we'll sit on our knees and toes to stretch the soles of our feet. We love this posture. So simple, except it does so much at the same time. Just close your eyes here. You can place your hands on your lap, wherever's comfortable for you. Just really sit on your heels, move all the weight back towards your heels and less towards your knee. Close your eyes and connect to your breath. Just by thinking about your breath, your mind will already move away from the pain you're feeling in your feet, probably. <laughs> If it's really, really unbearable, you can come forward and play with the weight. But I really want you to try, just for a moment here in this posture, to find this peace within, even in something that feels uncomfortable. And let's slowly release. Tap out the feet, moving around the circulation, all your toes and the sole of your feet and your ankles, vibrating all the energy there. Let's sit down. Bringing the feet forward, let's have the left one in front of us straight, parallel with your mat. And the right one on top so that your ankle connects with your knee on both sides. We want this to be like straight on top of each other. This is called fire log pose. So it shouldn't be towards the center like a normal seating position or a lotus. And immediately when you get in this pose, you should feel really deep stretch in the hips, in the outer hips. <sighs> if your legs aren't connected, that's okay as well. Slowly breathe through it. Flex both of your feet to protect your knees and activate the legs as well. Gonna inhale the hands up. And exhale, come forward slowly. You can rest your hands on your legs. Or go even deeper if that's comfortable for you, coming all the way down towards the ground. Or you can stay up if it's already deep enough for you. It's up to you to choose your variation. And we'll stay here just for a minute, feeling this deep hip stretch. Keep the feet flexed, release the head down. If you want, you can make sure your head is released and relaxed by doing no with the head and yes, just shaking it out. And again, always connecting with your breath. Always feel free to close your eyes and connect even more. And 
slowly come back up. Let's change sides. The right leg will be in front now first, in line with your mat, flexing the foot. Left leg comes on top, ankle to knee connection on both sides. Fire log pose, you should see the stacked fire logs. Flexing the feet, inhale the hands up. Exhale again, come down, slowly bringing pressure on your legs to go deeper into the hip stretch or maybe forward on your hands, going deeper into the fold or staying up, up to you. Again, we'll be here for one minute. Just breathing deeply, thinking about this hip joint. You can even try to really hone in on it, closing your eyes, just imagining this deep stretch in all your muscles around your hip joint. You can, you can almost feel it radiate outwards towards your thighs and your lower back. Everything is connected here. And everywhere. <laughs> slowly come back up. Inhale the hands up, release the legs, and let's bring them together to a bound angle like we did recline, except now we're seated. And exhale, place the hands down. Let's hold the feet for a moment and really turn them out as if we're opening a book. You can stay here in this bound angle, or you can fold forward with me slowly, as far as is comfortable for you. Again, props are always welcome if you want to just hug a pillow in front of you instead of folding forward. That's welcome as well. Just taking your pillow, kind of leaning on it. Your hips are still getting a deep stretch. We just want you to feel comfortable. We as in me. I don't know who we is. <laughs> so however you want to use your cushion or pillow, you can use that as well. Or fold forward all the way. Keeping that nice open book position with your feet, if possible. <sighs> Breathing deeply here. Slowly come up. Staying with our legs like this, we're gonna bring our hands behind. Just take an open heart, open shoulder variation here, pressing off of your hands to open your chest forward, look up. Feel this nice big posture here in your upper body. Breathe deeply. One more deep breath. And slowly come forward. Let's open the legs to a wide angle. It can be as wide as comfortable for you. I just wanna make sure that you're sitting on your hip bones and not um, curling your lower back into this curved angle seat, which sometimes happens without the flexibility. So if you need to close your legs so that you find the, the seat on your sitting bones, then do that. Let's just take a moment flexing the toes in our straddle wide angle seated fold position and make sure your toes are in line with your knees that they're not down or too far out. We want to make sure that they're super aligned and correct in, in, correct in the alignment. Inhale the hands come up. Exhale we're going to come to the right side just for a little side bend here. Go as deep as is comfortable for you. And 
Look up towards the ceiling. Make sure your heart is open towards the ceiling as well as much as possible. Inhale up. Long spine, exhale, other side to the left. Again, keeping that heart open, looking up towards the ceiling. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, let's come forward as much as is comfortable. Again, you can use a pillow as a prop and just hug it and lean forward slightly or come all the way towards the ground. We'll be here for a minute in this deep wide angle fold, breathing deeply. Make sure you're still flexed in the feet. Even though we're relaxing in the posture, we still wanna make sure our legs are aligned properly. Couple more deep breaths here. Slowly come back up. And let's do what we did in the bound angle, except here bringing our hands behind our backs. And just taking a moment to open the chest forward, shoulders back, still flexed in the feet. Look up towards the ceiling. And take a couple deep breaths here, feeling your chest open forward with every inhale. And return back to center with every exhale. Slowly release. Let's turn towards the side, coming to a tabletop position. Hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. You can have a wider stance here with the knees if you need. Also, if you have any strain with the wrists, you can bring the hands a little bit more forward so it's a bigger angle here instead of the 90 degrees under the shoulders. It's up to you to see what feels right for you right now. And let's just feel our tabletop for a moment, really pressing into our fingertips, spreading the fingertips, and pressing into our legs here. You can stay on the toes or on the top of the feet, it's up to you. And keep this nice neutral spine as if you're reaching from your head and your tailbone apart from each other. Here we'll add just a little bit of hip movement, just shaking around the hips in the circle position and not really working on the spine here, just the hips. You can circle, you can shake, whatever feels good for you. Just find a movement that really resonates with you right now in your hips. If you haven't changed direction, then do so now. <sighs> Inhale, let's bring the right hand up and look towards your right hand, coming into this gentle tabletop twist here. Exhale, bring the hand beneath your left armpit region, coming into a thread the needle, but without dropping towards the ground. We want to stay high in our tabletop pose here. Inhale, the hand up. Look up towards your right hand. Exhale, bring the right hand underneath your left arm. 
look towards the left. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Let's switch sides. Moving away towards our right hand. Lift up the left hand. Look up. Inhale. Exhale. Swing the left hand under your right arm. Look towards the right. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Nice. Let's walk the hands towards our knees and come up to a kneeling position. It can be with a wide stance or with knees together, whatever's more comfortable for you. We'll place our hands on our lower back as if we want to put them in our back pockets, but a bit higher, or in the lower back region. And inhale, look up behind you, open your heart as if you wanted to go into a deep back bend, but we're not going to go into a deep back bend. We're just supporting our lower back here and opening the heart forward. Let's take three deep breaths here. Really supporting the lower back. You shouldn't feel any strain. And slowly sit back down on your heels, keeping your hands on your lower back. Deep breath. Inhale, come back up. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, going a little bit into your back bend, opening the shoulders back, heart forward, but supporting the lower back completely. Three deep breaths. And slowly lower back down to your seat, hands still on your lower back. Just feeling the movement of your pelvis supporting you when, you when you're up kneeling and when you come back down to your seat. Feeling that slight pelvic tilt. Let's come back up to a kneeling position. We won't do the back bend again. But we will add a little bit of a side bend. Inhale the hands up. Maintaining that straight long spine here. Try not to come into a back bend. Really tucking in the pelvis, supporting the lower back, just in a straight um, kneeling position here. Just activating the core slightly to protect the lower back. We're gonna inhale the hands up. And grab your right wrist with your left hand and come to a side bend towards the left side. Look towards the right. <sighs> Inhale, back to center. Exhale, opposite side. Grabbing the left wrist with your right hand, looking towards the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, drop the hands towards the ground, towards your tabletop. And slowly press into your toes, lifting your hips up, coming into a down dog. Doesn't have to be a perfect down dog. You can have wide legs as much as you want or narrow, whatever feels good for you. Just shake around here for a moment, walking the legs. Moving that energy around from your legs and your hip region. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, bring it in between your hands or outside of your right hand for a wider angle here and drop the left knee. Just taking a moment here in this low lunge pose, going deep into the hips. Let's slowly lean towards our left hand, bringing our right hand onto our right knee and slightly, slightly pushing on it, turning towards our, to the back of your mat. 
Coming into this twisted variation of low lunge. Really open here, lots of space. And slowly come back to center. Let's drop our hands down all the way towards the ground, if you can, coming into lizard pose. You can stay on your back toes or release the foot. Again, feel free to widen that right leg as much as you need or want. Let's take a couple deep breaths here in this deep wide angle position with our legs. One more deep breath. And slowly come back up onto your hands. Bringing the right leg back to your tabletop. And let's go on the other side. Slowly coming up into your downward dog. Again, taking a moment to shake out as needed. Shaking out the hips, walking out the legs. Inhale the left leg up and in between your hands or outside of your left hand for a wider angle. And drop the right knee down. Taking a moment here in your low lunge. Let's start to lean towards our right hand now. Placing our left hand on our left knee, looking behind you towards the back of your mat, coming into this nice wide angle. You shouldn't be pushing on the left knee too much, but just slightly so that you're coming to the razor edge of your left foot, towards the edge of your, on the pinky side of your foot, not towards the big toe. Slowly come back to center. Let's drop the hands all the way down towards the ground, coming to lizard pose. Again, you can widen the angle of your left leg if you need. And you can drop the back right foot towards the top of your foot or stay on your toes, whatever's more comfortable for you. We'll take a couple deep breaths here in our lizard pose. One more deep breath. Let's slowly come back up onto our hands. Swinging that left leg back to tabletop. And widen the stance of your knees as big as your mat. Feet are together. And slowly move back to a wide angle child's pose. Again, props are always welcome if you wanna lay on your big pillow in front of you. You can do that if you have a belly, you can move the pillow more forward so it's just on your chest region and your head so you have space for the belly. Or you can bring it in between your legs or you can be without a prop as well. <sighs> Together we're in our wide child's pose. Your hands can be however is comfortable for you right now. Your head as well, you can look towards one side and I'll tell you when to switch sides or you can stay on your forehead in the center for both sides. If you're looking towards one side, look towards the other now. And you should feel this nice deep compression in your, in your hip joint, in your hip crease. And complete release of tension from your back. We're also stretching the ankles as well in child's pose. <sighs> and 
slowly start to come back up. Let's cross our legs underneath and come to a seat and slowly roll onto your side. Doesn't matter which side, we'll do the other one in a second. So we're on the side now. You can rest your head on your arm as a stand or on the floor, or you can be on your elbow as well. A couple variations of the arm. We're gonna lift that left knee towards our um, armpit region. And just squeeze it real tight for a moment. Circling the ankle. Increasing circulation and fluid movement in the ankle joint. Change direction of the circle. And then let's grab our foot and start to straighten it. Take 10 deep breaths here in this pose, allowing the circulation from our foot to flow down towards the center of our body. Also working on balance here. You don't have to hold the foot all the way to your head. You can just hold it up in the air you can also hold behind your shin or behind your thigh if the foot is too much of a strain. And slowly release. Let's change sides. You can roll on your back and go towards the other side, but I'll change so you can still see me. Again, the three variations of the hand can be either head on the ground, head on your hand, or head in the air and your arms on the forearms on the floor. On the left side of our body now, bringing the right knee to the right armpit region and squeezing really tightly, starting to circle the joint in one direction. to the other direction. And grab your foot and slowly extend and straighten the right leg. Again, you can choose to hold a different area that's more comfortable for you. You can also keep the leg bent slightly if you want. It doesn't have to be straight. Taking 10 deep breaths here. Allowing the circulation from your foot to flow back towards the center of your body. Slowly release the leg back down. We'll come into Shavasana now. If you're not comfortable laying on your back, you can stay on your side, whichever side is more comfortable for you. Or you can add a lot of pillows so you're not really laying on your back, you're more about a slant. You can put a big pillow and then a smaller pillow where the head is, so you're at a slant position. Something like this. And again, the legs can be straight, as wide as your mat, or bent, or together in the Supta Baddha Konasana like we started in. Whatever is most comfortable for you right now, choose your variation of Shavasana. And let's just be here for a moment, focusing on our breath.
Relaxing completely in the whole body, from your feet all the way to your head, and all the little muscles in between, especially in the face. Just feel like everything's melting towards the sides. The only thing moving and active here is the belly rising and falling with every breath. Take this moment to truly heal the body, take care of your body. One more minute. See if your mind wanders to other thoughts. If it does, try to just bring it back to the present moment, to your breath the feeling and sensations of your body against the floor in whatever position you chose, whatever's connected to the floor, you feel that connection. Let's slowly start to come out of our Shavasana. You can keep the eyes closed. Let's meet each other in a comfortable seat. Whatever seat is best for you, in this moment, just feeling the circulation flow back down towards your legs. Feeling this beautiful posture, open heart, shoulders back, long spine. And bring your hands to heart center. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. Hope you enjoyed it.